Hi everybody, my name is Miranda Dressler and I'm an attorney with the law offices of Bridget Mackay in Petaluma, California. We practice in the areas of estate planning, administration, and elder law. And today I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about the difference between probate and trust administration. So after you pass away, what is the difference between those two things? So really the process of administering someone's estate, whether that be by a probate um, administration or if the person had a revocable living trust, it's ultimately in a larger sense the same process and has the same goals. And that would be you know, the person who is in charge of administering the estate, either the trustee in the case of a trust administration or the executor in the case of a probate, the goals really are the same and that's to identify and inventory all of the assets, make sure the decedent's debts and creditors are paid, and then ultimately distribute those assets to the people who are rightfully inheriting. Um, and so the main differences though between a trust administration and a probate is a probate is a court supervised process, meaning that really all the steps in that process um, are monitored by the court. In a trust administration, that is a non-court supervised proceeding. So it's a, a little less formal and it tends to take, for the most part, less time. A probate in California, for example, the typical time frame is about a year to 18 months to complete. A trust administration, on the other hand, typically takes between six and eight months to complete, although it can take less time than that. Another big difference between a trust administration and a probate is gonna be the cost. So in probate, the main uh, cost is gonna be the attorney and the executor fees and those fees in a probate are set by law. And they're based on a percentage, basically, of the total value of the assets going through the process. And it typically winds up to be between three and 5% of the value of the assets. Trust administration, on the other hand, although there are expenses associated with it, and you still do need the, um, the help and the guidance of an attorney, it does tend to be much less expensive uh, to complete. So maybe between one and 2% of the value of the assets. So that's a little bit about the difference between trust administration and probate. If you have any questions about that topic or any other estate planning topic, you should contact an experienced estate planning attorney in your area. Thank you.